Uh, all right, uh, greetings everyone. It's Mr. Shajayo here and welcome to Back to Basics. Look, what I want us to look at, uh, basically, I want us to understand, you know, uh, some of the nitty gritties of Euclidean geometry. And I want us to learn in terms of how can we prove our theorem number one, right? So basically, we want to prove that the line drawn from the what? Drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord. Out okay. again. So basically, we want to prove that this particular side, uh, rather, is equal to this particular side. Out again. Okay. So now, uh, as as part of our proof, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to obviously provide what we call construction, right? We are going to construct. So what we are going to construct, we are going to join line A O as it is join A O. Can you see that? The red one, yes, and we are also going to join our line, what? Our PO or our OP, right? So we are going to construct, right? Uh, we are going to provide construction by doing what? By joining uh, our OA uh, and also what? And OB. Are we together? So basically, that's going to be that. And now, after that, what is it that we are going to do? Now we are going to try and prove congruency in triangle what we are going to be looking in triangle we are going to be looking at our triangle o a m right and our triangle uh what o p m out again uh basically this is going to be uh that triangle that you are going to be looking at o a m and also o b m Right now, what is it that you can uh take from here? For an example, if you can look at this now, your OA, uh, your OA, which is going to be this line. Can you see that your OA and also your OP? Your OA is going to be close to your OP. These are going to be close to your ID because remember, this is the line from the center to your circumference of your circle. This we call it a radius, but when it's two of them, these are going to be your radii, right? How to get so basically that's going to be your reason. Uh now so these two lines are equal because both of them are drawn from the center to the what to the circumference of our circle, right? The second one is that if you can look here, our angle M1 is going to be close to our angle M2. Both of these are equals to 90 degrees because you can see that it is given if this your m2 is 90 degrees and then your m1 is going to be 90 degrees this is given to us how to get so basically this is given to us and now uh thirdly what is it that you are going to do now we are going to say if you can look at our line om here if i can use another thing can you see that your line om it is common in both of these triangles right so which means our om is going to what our om is going to be close to our om in both of them because this is common right so basically this is common so now we are going to say now now that you've proven one two three things remember for congruence you need to prove three things that are equal about these two triangles right so now you can come to the conclusion that therefore our triangle what our triangle are uh, oam oam is going to be congruent to triangle what to triangle OPM, and what is it that we've used to try and uh, prove that we have firstly used our what our right angle, we have used our hypotenuse side, and we are going to be also using our side. Out right, again. So basically, now from here, so which means if these three sides are equal, then we are concluding that. All the angles and all the sides of both of these triangles are going to be equal. Therefore, you can conclude that now our what? Our AM is going to be equal to our what? Is going to be equal to our PM. Okay. So basically, these are some of the things that we can prove when we come to when it comes to our what? Our theorem number one. Hopefully, this makes sense to you. And thank you very much.